This is how I prepare and I wanted to share with you my rain water collection system. I got five barrels. That all get fed from this one downspout of my roof. So that's about a quarter of my roof collecting rainwater. It easily just lifts up. I have some aluminum screening here. I can take that out, dump it, put it back in. I don't have to do that very often, maybe twice a year. The pressure of that just sits there. Really, it's been working well. This is kind of, kind of a collect-all for stuff, but it's alongside my house. All five barrels are connected. You can see I've just mounted some tubing between them. And each one is connected. I've got a couple of pumps. The larger one is a one horsepower, 110 volt pump. Uh, I use that rarely. Uh, being in this kind of country, I use it for possible firefighting needs. Then I have a smaller RV pump that's hooked up that I can just use anytime to drain water from my system. One thing you do need to do is make sure that your system is protected from bugs like mosquitoes and you need a little drain hole here otherwise you'll blow caps and you need the water to drain out when it overflows and that's just again some screening silicone on mosquitoes can't get in and then I do have just a good old tap Good old clean water. You can see it's coming out pretty clean. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to show you how I pump water out of it. We've got a little sprinkler head there. That's uh, hooked up to the uh, rain barrels. From previous videos, you'll remember that uh, I have a small solar panel system. It runs an attic fan. It'll also run the rain barrel pumps. It's really nice. I can put water anywhere I like. Uh, if line power goes out, I can still pump water. I also have the spigot at the end where I could get buckets, fill them if I needed to use them to refill toilets or um, do dishes. If you're going to drink this water, you're definitely going to want to filter it. There's different methods and someday we'll do a video about that. But filter this water before you drink it. I like to, um, every once in a while, add a little bleach to the barrels um, if it's been a long winter. Sometimes that really helps to keep algae down, if any. I've really never had an algae problem. During the summer months when I don't get a lot of rain, I refill it as I go with uh, city water. City water has enough chemicals in it, keeps uh, the barrels pretty clean. I like to keep my barrels full because I live in a, a wildland urban interface type area and uh, I do have that one horsepower pump that helps me fight uh, wildland fire around my house if need be. Um, I've had these uh, rain barrels for over eight years. Uh, they've been fantastic. Never had a problem with them. Uh, connecting them at the bottom allows me to draw the water evenly across the barrels. Uh, it's been a great system and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. We appreciate any comments.